thanks for joining Ask Stacy and Amanda with Bank of North Dakota for another episode. Uh, we are we put out videos every single week on a variety of topics, usually on planning and paying for college, financial literacy, but sometimes we do other important topics for uh, college age students as well. Today we are at the state treasurer's office up at the North Dakota State Capital with North Dakota State Treasurer Kelly Schmidt. Hi, Amanda. Hello. Thanks so much for inviting us up to your offices to talk about online scams today. Important stuff. It is. Um, I think everybody is affected by scams or has um, gotten an email or a phone call about some kind of scam. But before we launch into that, um, can you tell us a little bit about the Treasurer's Office and the many things that you do? I would love to. Um, in the North Dakota Treasurer's Office, in the mornings, our morning work is mostly like the bank. Mm -hmm. We collect um, deposits and we distribute dollars here, but we reconcile to the bank in North Dakota, mm -hmm. to the state's checkbook, and we reconcile to the accounting system every morning. Um, the tax department, they collect the dollars and the revenue, so he takes away your money, uh -huh. and then he gives <laughs> it to me, and we either invest it in the bank or mm -hmm. in other places, or we distribute those dollars to counties, cities, and school districts. Um, so. Lots of information, lots of formula. Mm -hmm. We try to do it with as much transparency as we can because I always believe the people's treasury is the people's money. Absolutely. That's great to know that we, we have that, um, not that service, but an office in North Dakota that is so, um, it's so important to, to make sure that people know what's going on financially in the state. Absolutely. So online scams. I know we've all gotten emails, we've all gotten phone calls, and we I'm pretty sure we all know somebody mm -hmm. who has fall, fallen victim to a scam or very, very close to. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about what some of the common scams are that you're hearing about um, today, whether it's people you know personally or in the media or just things that you encounter in your day to day? Sure. Well, I can tell you Apple called me and um, they told me that I was compromised with my internet and that my router needed to be replaced oh. and that I was in big trouble and I was supposed to go buy some gift cards to help pay the bill. And you know, if it doesn't smell like the right thing and it's too good to be true, guess what? It I, probably is. That's right, so I hung up. Um, those are alive and well. You know, mm -hmm. Apple will never call you. Um, Social Security will never call you. Um, the IRS. The IRS will never call you, mm -hmm. and and we just are a trusting folk, and so mm -hmm. it's it's something we need to be diligent about. Um, so the phone calls, if you don't recognize the number, you have no responsibility to answer the phone. If it's mm -hmm. important, let them leave a message. You can call them back. I think that's a, yeah. a big note. Um, but it, we're North Dakota nice, so we Absolutely. think we have to answer that telephone. Um, the email scams, you know, mm -hmm. we, we were just talking a little while ago about about in our offices and how there's attempts to try and, and send us emails and get us to respond to questions. And um, in this mm -hmm. office, we see that regularly. And if and folks have to understand in their emails, if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. And they're looking for information. They're looking for one little tidbit that's mm -hmm. gonna help them get closer to you or the next time they attempt, it's gonna make it a little bit easier to second guess yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's how they work. Yeah, yeah, those phishing emails, sometimes they can be so crafty. It'll mm -hmm. look almost exactly like it. And if they hit you when you're like in the right mood, I mean, in a rush, you could click on a link, get that malicious virus, compromise your entire agency, That's right. which is really scary. Um, and especially, you know, if you're working in a large agency, but even if it's just your personal information, um, that can be really scary too. Um, so those are phishing emails. We talked about the good old cre uh, gift card scam. What are some other ones that we hear a lot about? Well. Um Recently, we heard about the student loan scams. Oh, yes. Where there's student loans, where they're trying to come in and help you manage your mm -hmm. student loans or offer you a too good to be true student loan. Yeah. And that should have our radar going that once again, if it's too good to be true, it's mm -hmm. too good to be true. So I think those are things we really need to pay attention okay. to. Um, just be diligent and mm -hmm. um, talk to people. For sure. You know, if you've, if you've had a call or if you've received information or talk to people. Um, there's the one with the grandparents where someone has mm -hmm. called and said, hey, um, that happened to my mom. Yeah. And, and she used a fictitious name for um, our daughter-in-law and she asked, so is, 
where's Cynthia in all this? And the scammer proceeded to think he knew who Cynthia was, but what he didn't know is we didn't have a Cynthia in our family. So, mm -hmm. you know, you have to ask questions. You have to dig just a little bit more mm -hmm. and, and just really be aware yeah. and then talk about it. Tell someone there's no shame. Mm -hmm. We all, we all sometimes, like you said, we're in a different place in our head. You know, yeah. maybe we just walked in and we're rushed and we're, and we got it. They got us at a vulnerable moment. Yeah. So we need to talk to each other. And especially a situation like that, when it's a family member who might be in danger or needs mm -hmm. help out of a, a bad situation. I mean, as North Dakotans in general, like we just want to help our, we, we want to help our people. So I think it's really easy sometimes to get caught up on that when you're concerned. Um, they go right for the heartstring. Oh, they do. Yeah. That's where they get us. Yeah, that's right. Um, so yeah, I mean, talking about it is important because you never know your, you know, aunt or your best friend's mom or, you know, mm -hmm. somebody that you know could have encountered the same thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's really important. I think too is there's no shame in this. All of us make a mistake. All of mm -hmm. us make a bad decision at one point. But if we do talk and we do share and we do learn from each other, then we're less likely to do it moving forward. Mm -hmm. So just talk about it. So other than the too good to be true, are there any other like telltale signs of a scam? You know what's really hard is every time we get to a point where we think we understand a scam and we think we know what a scam is, mm -hmm. they change it. Oh, and and so yeah. it, it's so hard to stay ahead of it. Mm -hmm. But I think that's why it's so important we talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because if you've heard of one and I haven't, well then I you tell me and pretty soon I'm telling my team and, and we've communicated to that many more people. Mm -hmm. And so, but they're crafty. They are. Mm -hmm. So what are some ways that uh, people of, of all demographics, I don't think scams, you know, leave anybody out. College mm -hmm. kids, um, senior citizens, parents, I mean, everybody is targeted by these scams. What are some ways that people can protect themselves from getting caught up? Well, I think, um, first of all, protect your personal information. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's too good to be true, as we said, mm -hmm. it's too good to be true. Don't answer the phone if you don't recognize yeah. the number. It's okay to let it go to voicemail. Um, it's okay to delete an email, even though someone is searching for information and asking you questions, delete it, and then push it to junk so you don't see it and it's not brought up to you again. Mm -hmm. um, protect yourself that way. Um, but for the most part, then go back and make sure that you're self-checking by checking your accounts, checking mm -hmm. your credit cards, checking your your um, your credit reports, making sure that you're doing the due diligence to ensure that you are safe so that if you happen to have a weak moment and maybe someone mm -hmm. did get some information that you can stop it before it gets too bad. Yeah, yeah, it's just amazing how many scams are out there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think like you, you said earlier, if there were people out there who were making such attempts all these attempts to do bad things, if they would turn around and do it for good, yeah. how awesome our society it would be different would be yeah mm -hmm. for sure um so any other last tips or tricks before we sign off for people on um online scams and how to avoid them i think we covered it be awesome. due diligent be aware and check your credit report wonderful well kelly thank you so much again for lending your expertise to this topic um, and hopefully we'll be able to chat together again soon thank you amanda awesome all right everyone and again thanks for watching and if you have any questions on today's topic or suggestions for a topic you'd like to see in the future, leave us a comment below, send us a direct message, and Stacy and I will address it in an upcoming video. All right, thank you.